What's up guys, Sal here. So Apple is known for providing a hassle-free user experience across its devices, something that gains iOS an edge over other mobile operating systems. While Android has its own advantages, iOS is spot on with its nifty features. One of these features is AirDrop that is useful when you have to share files between Apple devices. Not just between iPhones, but you can share files wirelessly between any Apple devices including their MacBooks, phones, iPads and more. Samsung, which relies on Android as an ecosystem on its smartphones, has finally come up with its answer to AirDrop with the Galaxy S20 last year. Called QuickShare, you can wirelessly send any file between Galaxy smartphones. But the problem was, with QuickShare, you still cannot send files between a PC and a smartphone. So there wasn't a stopgap solution for wireless file sharing between your smartphone and PC in the Android world. But that finally changes today at the Unpacked event, where Samsung has officially brought QuickShare to their laptops, ending years of frustration of Windows users. I mean, with Windows, it's a pain to transfer files from phone to PC. The data cable always went missing the day we need the most, and we always end up sending files over email or Google Drive almost all the time. And the whole process is time consuming and not convenient at all. As an Android fan, if there is one feature I'm most envious of Apple and iOS, it would be AirDrop for its convenience. But thankfully, we no longer have to drool over that. With QuickShare on Windows, you can share any files of any size between a Galaxy phone and a Galaxy laptop. Now, just like Apple, only Samsung users will be able to take advantage of this. It seems this is only limited to Galaxy laptops and Galaxy phones for now. And I'm not quite sure if Samsung makes this available to all Windows users, including desktops. I guess time will tell. Anyway, with their new laptops, Samsung is letting users focus on the content first rather than the device itself. And I think that's a great strategy. That's what Apple does with their ecosystem and that's why they are so successful at it. In the world of Windows, this is the sort of seamless integration that has been promised for years and very few have been able to deliver. And it looks like Samsung is finally changing that. Samsung just had an amazing quarter. They've announced their earnings for Q1 2021, reporting a jump in revenue and operating profit. The revenue was $59 billion with $8.46 billion in profits in three months. The profit is actually 45% higher compared to the same period last year and 4% higher compared to quarter four of last year. Their smartphone deficient contributed to the increased profit, notably the Galaxy S21 as well as the Galaxy A range of devices. But this number of $8.46 billion, even though huge for any company by all standards, kind of pales in comparison to what Apple made in the same quarter. They made $23.4 billion in profit, which is almost three times more than what Samsung did. The real driving force of this growth was the iPhone 12 lineup, which is seeing a purchase super cycle. Their sales doubled in China and the addition of 5G helped make it happen as more Chinese are upgrading to 5G phones. And overall, there is a pent up demand since more and more employees and students are conducting their work at home. Of course, with that being said, do consider subscribing for all the latest tech news. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.